Hi, this is Joe from crystalsubstrates.com and uh, these are some of our strontium titanate uh, single crystals uh, that we sell and have in stock. Um, so strontium titanate SRTiO3 um, is one of the most common substrates you'll find around uh, thin film labs. It's an absolute workhorse of a, of a substrate, uh, commonly found in 10 by 10 by 0 0.5 millimeters um, and 5 by 5 and um, we have it in uh, 100, 111, sorry 110 and 111 orientation. Typically you find it single side polished uh, because we're only, it's not often used for Optical uh, optical measurements, but we can do double side polished as well. No problem. We can also custom cut it to any size you want, up to about one inch diameter. Uh, anything bigger than that, um, is, we're just limited by the size of the crystals um, that you can you can easily grow. Um, and you can also dope um, strong tin titanate with. You can dope it with several things, but um, niobium is. One of the most common things you'd notice rather than being clear it turns uh turns this kind of nice dark color um and niobium dope strontium titanate is great um if you need a conducting substrate so strontium titanate is uh, insulating um doped um strontium titanate this is 0 0.7 percent niobium um, but you can go anywhere from 0 point below 0 0.1 percent up to about one percent niobium doping and that gives it Quite good conductivity, not not metallic like, but if you need um, if you need a, a bottom electrode um, and you want to grow potassium films on it, then it's a really good, great place to start. There's probably be a separate video on on these niobium doped um, strontium titanate crystals. You can go directly to their page to find out some more information. Um, but these would be your standard ones that, that would be used for studying thin films in the lab. Um, strontium titanate became um, I guess one of the main reasons why it's so popular is uh, because it's a perovskite um, material and it kind of has, it's, you can grow single crystals of it relatively easily and it has an almost an ideal perovskite structure. So if you're growing other perovskites, anything from lanthanum, lanthanum uh, aluminium oxide or even if you're growing superconductors, um, so yeah, YBCO or or anything like that, then this would be one of your first places to start, um, and um, then you get your ep epitaxial growth uh, growth from there. It's also if you need a conducting layer on top, then you can also use strontium ruthenate SRRUO3. Uh, on top of it, you get a lattice match, and then you get a metallic-like film on top that you can then go and, and deposit your films on. One of the reasons why strontium titanate is so popular in thin film labs is. Uh, because of the perovskite structure and for growing other complex oxides. So um, complex oxides, a lot of them may not be stable uh, to grow by solid, typical solid synthesis techniques. So um, they, but you can stabilize them in thin form. So anything, um, anything like that, which has multi-cations that you're trying to stabilize on a substrate, um, this would be one of the first places you would, you would start, which is why um, some really interesting things have been found including the interface between strontium titanate and uh, lanthanum aluminate, uh, as well as uh, growth of, um, of high temperature superconductors on, uh, on this material. Um, as well as and now battery materials are being grown on it. Um, pretty much you'll find it in, uh, in most studies somewhere, somebody would have tried it and um, just keeps, yeah, just keeps on turning out these really interesting properties for all sorts of materials. So um, if you don't have any stock up, Get them from crystalsubstrates.com.